Hi, okay, I'm so excited today. Uh, I've got my new battery pack in for the King Song S18. And here we go, have a look. So we've got two backpack and two front pack. Okay, that's the whole complete set I've got from EY. And um, yeah, EY.com. Uh, yeah, this has been great getting this battery in for me. And uh, this is my King Song here at the moment. So uh, what I will be doing is attempt to do is to uh, install this set of battery on top of the existing sets. So it's going to be a big modification. I need to remove everything off. That's my plan is to remove everything off down to the shell and reorganize the battery um, positioning so that it will fit this set in. So uh, yeah, uh, let's get started. Taking all the bits off from the King Zone, and as you can see, the shell is all gone. And um, it's very important to disconnect the battery and uh, all the connector from the battery. And uh, turn that on to discharge everything on the circuit board. So once there's no power in there, then uh, you should be able to play with that. Uh, have a look at that, look at this. You see a bit of a rust coming through here, look. That's uh, probably due to condensation of the hole coming through from the bottom. And I'll just seal that up to stop any uh, condensation coming through. Although the King Song circuit board, you feel it, if you feel the ball on the King Song on the circuit, it's actually uh, waterproof. It's got some uh, some sort of silicon on top of it to protect it from uh, uh, you know moisture. But and see there, this little motor wire coming through. It's got a bit of rust on the spring spring there. <laughs> so this is what it looks like at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, Put a female plug on this. Uh, so what I've got is uh, I've got the exact same um, plug, which is a uh, XT ninety I PR. So it's comes in two pair. So I've got some of those there. I've got uh, two two pair. Plug and I've got some uh, exactly same wire, which is the uh, as the battery wire. Um, look at that. So the positive and negative is the same gauge wire. Okay, so they're 14 14 AWG. So those are the wire that they use on the battery. Uh, I've got the thinner one as well, exactly the same one. I think they are the uh, 20G, which is a set of wires here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, remove those bits there and hopefully I'm going to solder the wire onto it using the same socket. And on the other end of this, I'm going to put the female on there so the other battery can plug into this. So this goes into the ball, and that goes to the secondary battery. It's all going to be wired up in parallel. Okay. So uh, yeah. So I have made this uh, little female. So basically, this will go into the uh, the other battery, like this. But this one, I will wire into here. So I've got one battery with a plug coming out like that for the other battery to plug in. And then this one will be plugged into the, this will be plugged into the uh, system ball. So I'm gonna finish off this plug. So I have to do this four time. We've got two big battery and two small battery at the back. So I will make four of this 
and sold them all onto the spare battery that which I bought and put that onto there like this. I usually use a soldering iron just to warm it up so uh, to get the plastic to shrink okay wow well, it took a while to do it there you go so I've got two front battery and two rear battery and what I've done is uh, I replace all the plug on there so I've got one set so they all got the uh, connector so this will be um, this will plug direct into the uh, control board and on the back of here so the other battery can plug into here so all the battery will be all in parallel basically okay uh, day two spent a whole day yesterday uh, doing the battery modification so here we are so this is the new set of battery which I done the mod. So I plug that into the uh, into the system board. Okay, with this spare for the second battery. And uh, here we got the uh, new battery, which is plugged again into the system board and with the extension. And the secondary battery, which I put on top of there, which is plugged in. And um, on the back of here, what I've done was see here, um, I drill some hole on the uh, existing battery and uh, tap it with some thread. And what I've done is on the pedal, when I close it, I don't want it to, it can't close all the way, but you can close to a point where it stays up. That is all I need it. As long as it stays up, then it's fine. I prefer it that way so I can just flip to open. And uh, the battery is uh, screwed in. This is tapped it in and the thread just go in and that holds it in. And what I've done is temporary at the moment, I put Velcro on the back of this double-sided heavy-duty velcro and that holds it in and on this side uh, at the back of there you can see there I put a cable tie by drilling a hole onto this bit here which I've done on the other side on here which I drew the hole on the top and on this secondary battery I drew it on the inside I tie up with a cable tie and that stops it moving 
with the free screw at the back, it's quite sturdy, so it's not going to move. And there's a cable tie that holds it in and a Velcro. And this is just a cable management here. So I'll just loop the cable management to another cable tie. Comes along here and plugs into this. Uh, so that's the back battery. So for the front battery, well, I... Uh, so on the original shell, you can see here, I put the battery on top of this and line it up, line it up with this and that one. So this is all lined up here from the, the front and the back. So when I close it, it stays up. Uh, and then what I did is uh, I put the case back on here. So this will still work. So you put the case back on here and align the battery back in. What I have to do is uh, on the battery itself, I have to uh, line it up here and make new fresh hole on the battery pack. Okay, to go align with this uh, shell. So when the hole is aligned with the battery, then you can secure it with four hole. This will secure the battery back in. And to secure this battery on there properly, I have drilled some holes on top of there. So there's two on the bottom, we can use that existing hole. So that one will be connected to the main battery. And this one will be connected to the main battery. And this one here will also be connected to the main battery on the bottom here. I'm going to this metal shelving. One, two, three, four. Four screw to hold it down against this. And then we got this shell which is holding it here. And then on the back of here, which I will take those two middle screw out, take these two out and pull it on top of there. Pull it on top of there and that will hold it in nicely. Drill the hole there. After drilling the hole, I use a tap screw. And put it on slow setting. This is how I tap the screw hole. What I've done is uh, put the screws on there, battery's all in, and all the screws are in place. And down here, I put two screws on top of there, remove the other ones, and put that on top. And that links to the bottom. There'll be a big gap here. I will make something to uh, to cover that up. But uh, at the moment, it seems to be going uh, smoothly.